the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My brothers and sisters, let's acknowledge our sins and so far for us to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You are said to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who made the bishop St. Peter Chrysogonus an outstanding preacher of your incarnate word, grant through his intercession that we may constantly ponder in our hearts the mysteries of salvation and faithfully express them in what we do. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. This word came to Jeremiah from the Lord. Rise up, be off to the potter's house. There I will give you my message. I went down to the potter's house, and there he was, working at the wheel. Whenever the object of clay which he was making turned out badly in his hand, tried again, making of the clay another object of whatever sort he pleased. Then the word of the Lord came to me. Can I not do to you, house of Israel, as this potter has done, says the Lord. Indeed, like clay in the hand of the potter, so are you in my hand, house of Israel. Thanks be to God. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. Praise the Lord, O my soul. I will praise the Lord all my life. I will sing praise to my God while I live. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. Put not your trust in princes. In the sons of men, in whom there is no salvation. When his spirit departs, he returns to his earth. On that day, his plains perish. Blessed is, is he whose help is the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord his God, who made heaven and earth, the sea and all that is in them. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Open our hearts, O Lord. To listen to the word of your son. Alleluia. 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 May we give my heart to the lips, and we really be with you. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to the Lord. Jesus said to the disciples, The kingdom of heaven is like a net thrown into the sea, where it collects fish of every kind. When it is full, they haul it ashore and sit down to put what is good into buckets. What is bad, they throw away. Thus it will be at the end of the age. The angels will go out and separate the wicked from the righteous and throw them into the fiery furnace, 
or the bewailing and grinding of teeth. Do you understand all these things? They answered, Yes. And he replied, Then every scribe who has been instructed in the kingdom of heaven is like the head of a household who brings from his storeroom both the new and the old. When Jesus finished his parable, he went away from there. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the Gospel refrain this morning, we hear, Open our hearts, O Lord, to listen to the words of your Son. A simple prayer that we hear in those words to remind us that we listen to the Word of God first. We listen to understand God's presence through history and time, to understand His love and His covenant in which He has for each and every one of us. But as we listen to His words, we also have to act upon them, have to live out the message of Christ with one another. And the words that we hear today are a reminder to us it is just not listening, it's just not listening to the Word of God, but it's putting the Word of God into action in our own daily life, to share the message of Christ, to share the gospel with others, in our own faith, in our own trust in the Lord. May we pray that we listen to the Word of God today, and not only listen to it, but act upon it. God bless you. Let us place our prayers and petitions before God our Heavenly Father. For the church, may she be continually blessed with abundance of divine goodness. We pray to the Lord. For those who in the world who seek the truth, may the Holy Spirit bring them to know Christ. We pray to the Lord. For those suffering the loss of a loved one, may our crucified Lord lift them up in their time of sorrow. We pray to the Lord. For the young people of our faith community, may God guard and protect them amid the pressures in their lives. We pray to the Lord. For the faithful departed, may they rest in the loving embrace of the Father. We pray to the Lord. We place those petitions which are in the silence of our heart before God. We pray to the Lord. And especially we remember a friend of Broly for whom this Mass is being offered. We pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, hear the prayers we offer this day. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fit in the earth the work of human hands, become for us the bread of life. Let's be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share the living Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may be accepted by you, Lord, and may our sacrifice be pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me of my sin. Pray, my brothers and sisters, have my sacrifice and yours. May be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord set the sacrifice at your hands. Praise the glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. 
Accept, O oh Lord, we pray, the offerings which we bring from the abundance of your gifts, that through the powerful working of your grace, these most sacred mysteries may sanctify our present way of life and lead us to eternal gladness. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father most holy. Through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory, as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that to become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave me thanks, broke it gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking in the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Nelson, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep on the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, and with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you for your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who we live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Keep me safe for eternal life. The body of Christ. 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 Body Christ, the body Christ, the body Christ, the body Christ, the body Christ. Let us pray. 
We have consumed, O Lord, this divine sacrament, the perpetual memorial of the passion of your Son. Grant, we pray, that this gift, which he himself gave us with love beyond all telling, may profit us for salvation. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, the Mass is ended. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Have a nice day, everyone.